I finally called the president. I believe it was on the 9th of September. I can't find the records and they won't provide them to me. But I believe I just asked him an open-ended question, Mr. Chairman, what do you want from Ukraine? I keep hearing all these different ideas and theories and this and that, what do you want? And it was a very short, abrupt conversation. He was not in a good mood. And he just said, I want nothing, I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. Tell Zelensky to do the right thing. Something to that effect. Quid pro quo, the thing they said he was doing for weeks, it's the exact wording of the thing he said not to do. Welcome back to Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Quid pro quo is not actually illegal. That's number one here, why this whole impeachment hearing is a lie. And I want you to be able to tell people who may not believe that, who just are seeing the headlines and the news flashes and thinking, oh, it's happening now. If the president, no matter who it is, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, Taylor Swift, <laughs> Jim Carrey, hopefully never, if they can't make foreign policy decisions without getting everything approved, then there shouldn't be a president. The president and his administration need to be able to make decisions on foreign policy, which is why Joe Biden doing the exact same thing on video and bragging about it is also not illegal. Here it is. This administration, unlike the administration you worked in, decided to provide limited defense articles to Ukraine. Do you think that was a wise decision? And more broadly, do you see any scope for any sort of a deal on eastern Ukraine? The answer is yes, I think it was a wise decision. But then again, I was pushing that for two years before we left. Um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to the press conference, said, no, nah. I said, I'm not going to, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority, you're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion, I'm going to be leaving here, and I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Everything the Democrats have accused Donald Trump of in this very instance surrounding this whole impeachment trial, it's not a trial yet, impeachment inquiry, sorry, is because they have done it themselves. They've gone far ahead. They think, what have we all done that we might get, <laughs> we might get caught for? Let's accuse them of doing it. This is why I want you to show this to your liberal friends, your centrist friends, anyone who uh, believes it because they don't pay enough attention, they don't care to pay enough attention, and then all the information firing at them is telling them that Trump's being impeached. Every time tr Twitter has a trending hashtag saying Trump is over, oh, Christmas and impeachment, what a great week, or recycle for whatever holiday, Thanksgiving this week, what a great week. So quid pro quo, not illegal. Biden did it. Moving into number two, getting dirt on your political opponents. Trump is using foreign entities to get dirt on his opponents, specifically Ukraine, uh, on the Bidens and such, who's the top Democrat candidate for president. Oh, you mean that thing that the <laughs> Democrats already did? The entire reason the Trump-Russia collusion investigation was started was because the Democrats paid a guy named Christopher Steele, a foreign agent, to dig up dirt on Trump. He gives that information to Fusion GPS. They give that to Yahoo News and other sources, which they then say is the reason why the FBI should tap into Trump's phone calls. Wikipedia even says, Christopher Steele, former British intelligence officer with the secret intelligence service MI6, is getting a spy from England to create a file on someone running for president, their opponent, their political opponent, and then using that to spy on him, not using, <laughs> not using foreign entities to get dirt on your opponent? Is that not what that is? And what did that lead to, of course? It led to number three, the Mueller investigation. Combining the first two, we got a big number three on the screen or anything? Combining the first two, Trump trying to do quid pro quo, trying to get uh, dirt on his opponents, is actually just an investigation into Hunter Biden's son. That's what this actually is. 
It's for him being paid to be on a board for a gas company in Ukraine when he doesn't have any experience in this field of work and he also doesn't even speak their language. Hey you guys, I'm going to work in Japan on a nuclear energy board. I don't speak Japanese and I didn't go to school for any of that. Nothing fishy about that. So appointing your son to make money off of your position in office. You tell me, is that bad? Is that worthy of impeachment? Should that have gotten Joe Biden kicked out of the vice presidency office, wherever that is? The square office, maybe? The, uh, the octagon? <laughs> is that illegal? You tell me. Should he have been kicked out for that? Because if you think Trump should be, then you definitely think that he should have been kicked out. Again, another thing that Democrats have actually done, but Trump is bad if he does it. They had this three-year-long investigation into whether or not Trump was corrupt, but Trump is not allowed to investigate whether or not a sitting vice president at the time and his son were involved in illegal activity and using their office to make money. It has way more evidence than the Trump and Russia collusion already, and that is not allowed. They call it quid pro, quid pro quo. People had the signs in the streets all about it. People were interviewing, pro, interviewing protesters without them knowing that it's not illegal. They call it quid pro quo. I can't even say it. QPQ. Can we call it that? Make it sound like a martial art? I've been studying a lot of QPQ lately. And using a foreign entity. Now, number four as to why this is all a sham lie is the aid. Trump is withholding aid. $250 million, $400 million, Almost knocked over my microphone. When people think aid, and when the media presents aid, everybody thinks that it's supplies, medicine, you're helping a country out. But aid is one of those fun words that we use for something else. Maybe for building infrastructure. What is it, though? You never hear them mention what the actual aid is for because they don't want you to know. From the LA Times, Congress had approved one-year funds of $250 million in military aid from the Pentagon and $141 million in assistance from the State Department with bipartisan support. Remember that, bipartisan support last fall. This money is for military support, training, cybersecurity, and also involved in all of this is the sale of Javelin missiles to the Ukraine. From ABC News, in March 2018, Trump approved $47 million sale of 210 Javelin anti-tank missiles and 37 launchers to Ukraine. Further down, since that sale, U.S. officials have confirmed that there have been long-running discussions between the U.S. and Ukraine about a future purchase, purchase of more Javelins, but nothing has been finalized. Javelin missiles, missiles, if you're not familiar, are extremely fancy missiles that use infrared to acquire their targets, which essentially means you can fire from behind a building, behind a wall, the missile goes up, it hits the tank from the top, which is why they're so effective and why people want them, because it's not an easy technology to come across. So outside of the $400, $400 million was the arms sale of stuff Ukraine needs. And why is this a lie? Why do they avoid telling you about it on CNN, what the actual aid is and where it's going? Because you got to think, who is all this military aid going towards Ukraine to fight against? What do they need it all for? Oh, that's right. It's to fight Russia. So Trump is best friends with Putin, and he's colluding with them, and he's abusing Ukraine to, to investigate his political opponents. But he's also helping them fight Russia with technology they wouldn't other otherwise have. Now, if you're really holding on to this, really grasping at it, you might say, well... That's why he's withholding the aid, because he wants to help Putin. Then I'd say, well, which is it? Is he withholding aid to get an investigation into Joe Biden? Or which, by the way, is already happening by Ukraine and was before this phone call with the Ukraine ever happened? Is it that, or is it just Trump trying to help Russia? Which one is it? Well, maybe both, you might say. You might say that if you're clinging to the board like uh, Jack and... The Titanic. There was room on the door, Jack. We all know it. It's quite the plot hole. Well, in case you you are wondering about that, Trump released the funds in September. I'm sorry to tell you. So he can't be doing he can't be doing either. Either he's he's doing the exact same thing that the, the Democrats did, which is is okay when they do it, but not okay when he does it, or he's trying to help Russia by delaying these funds. Except for the funds have been released, and he's helping Ukraine 
Shoot missiles at Russian tanks, people, okay? He can't like Russia that much. Unless they've got... You'd have to think that there's some sort of agreement between him and Putin where it's like, well, we're going to let some of your tanks blown up, so put just crash test dummies in those. <laughs> Bring on number five. Adam Schiff, the guy you love. Shifty Adam Schiff. The head of the investigation, the guy who made up what Trump said in the phone call, the guy who's adamant that Trump is corrupt and he needs to be impeached. But somehow... Adam Schiff is not sure if Donald Trump should be actually impeached anymore. You think President Trump should be impeached? I want to discuss this with my constituents and my colleagues before I make a final judgment on it. And you've also said that what you've seen is, quote, far more serious than what Nixon did. Explain to me how you have not come to the conclusion that the president should be impeached. I mean, it sounds like he, you think he should be impeached. Well, I certainly think that the evidence that's been produced... Um, overwhelmingly shows serious misconduct by the president. But I do want to hear uh, more from my constituents, and I want to hear more from my colleagues. This is not a decision I will be making alone. If you feel like you've got a handle on this stuff and you know about this information, you need to try to talk to people. And you're probably completely honest. You're probably better at it, a lot of you, than I am. My cameraman's better at it for example, about bridging the gap and relating to people on issues that they care about by knowing their political leanings. But if you just go one level deep, one layer of information deep past the headline, read the article on impeachment, on public policy, you're already ahead of 95% of people. Because most of what people say is something they've already heard somebody else say. And not until you get outside the little bubble, which is actually a huge bubble, do you actually realize that Everything that you're saying is stuff that you've just been told or that you've heard from other people. That's what this whole impeachment hearing is about. Everything that these people have presented as evidence has been hearsay, which is stuff they've heard or stuff they've heard someone else say that they've heard. Not admissible in court. Most people don't know much beyond that. And that's not an insult. I don't mean that in an insulting way. It's because everything I've shown you today is presented as completely the opposite. So it's hard for people who don't pay attention to know what's being told to them. I would hope that by this point, people don't just believe that the news has no motive and they're not trying to make money off of people. Maybe you think this is you. Maybe you think you're in the bubble. But chances are, if you're watching me, you probably watch a, a certain amount of sources. If you only watch me, then thank you. Love letters in the mail. That's how we... When you like me, I do this voice. But all Hollywood... Pop culture, social media, mainstream news, that's the bubble. It's all the same ideas. It's all the same talking points. It's all people giving the hearsay. And somehow the media manages to manipulate that into making people think that it's popular thought, common thought. So if you see politics, news, cultures, culture, <laughs> on any of these outlets, which I'm guessing you do, you're probably not in a bubble like those who only get their information from those sources. I would rather, you know, I would rather not do this. I would rather not have to I would rather not have to make videos for which I think that people need to see to see the truth. I would rather just be able to watch the news, read the articles and be like, yeah, they're being fair here, but they're not. So I'm here because I care, I guess. I'm 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 sitting here because I want people to know what the truth is. I don't like the idea of a mass amount of lying to get people to believe something. It doesn't feel good to me. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here uh, getting shit on by YouTube. That's why I'm here people calling me a liar because I'm only 19 years old and I'm from Scandinavia. And Patreon. <laughs> if that doesn't sell you on Patreon, then I don't know what will. Uh, me talking about getting shit on by YouTube. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Share this with your friends. Andrew out.